Welcome, welcome to the IET, IC Content Studio here in Barcelona, IC 2023, and we talk about Digital Out of Home, one of the fastest growing medias, and I'm really honored to have Kai Tesla here. Hi. Kai Tesla is Managing Director of the German um, Outdoor Association, FAW, to put it correctly. Wow. Kai, thank you for yeah. being here. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Kai, um, the, the media market is, 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 it was a challenging year, 2022. But there was one big winner, right? Or there were two yeah. winners, but uh, one of them was definitely out of home. It was out of home, definitely, because all the other classic media had problems, not on the gross level, but on the net level too. And I think out of home had the chance to get out of the, not really shade, we were moving quite fast. And despite the, pro the political problems that we had in Germany, we really managed to not get on top, but to, to, to gain two, 3% actually market share plus, which is tremendous. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what, and what's the outlook for this year? Do you think the market will, will rebound or, or will no, it go? No, I think, I think we're in a very good position. On the one hand side, um, uh, digital out of foam is coming very fast and it's growing due to programmatic advertising, which um, now has its big footprints in digital out of foam. And that, that will be the source of growth for the next month. And I think all, all media owners understood that they have to have it. And uh, the money comes, the source of business is, uh, is, is online and television. So I think the weakness of television will help digital out of home. Um, and the growth of programmatic um, online will help to push digital out of home, programmatic digital out of home. So this is my perspective for this year is quite positive. Okay. But programmatic, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a boom story. Yeah, it is. It is really. It is. But we also need to be honest here, you know, not everything is as, as sexy no. from, from really, m many things, is m m many of the bookings are called programmatic, yes, but, you're you know, right. 100%, but the direction is, is there, absolutely. I think the direction is important for digital out of home because the, the, the way of looking at out of home is differently. So in the past you had planned campaigns, you had scheduled campaigns, you had fixed prices, and the system was different. Now you get you more flexibility and you got faster bookings and you get money that comes from another, from another part of the media pie. So that's one of the main reasons why I think digital out of foam, of course, it's not programmatic as it is if you look at online, yeah. because there's no back channel yeah. on the one hand side. But the online side, the, the, the scheduling and the, the, the flexibility, the speed is differently. And that's, from my point of view, the main source, the main driver for this business out of foam. I remember five, six years ago when programmatic was really taking yeah. off. Many in the industry were, you know, were fearing a little bit that you know, prices will come down. Yeah. It will be just you know, cheap discount thing or so. And it was the beginning, to be honest. But where are we today? Is, it, is the pricing yeah. okay? Or does the out of home operator still need both? They need to have the direct sales and programmatic to get the right mix? Yes, of course. So I think there are two foots they're standing on, two feet. One, one foot is classic out of foam and it's still billboard business, yeah. which is the majority of the business. 76% is still billboard. Um, on the one hand side. On the other hand side, we see that media owners learned about the, from, the, from the problems uh, of the online programmatic business. They, 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 they understood how they could program and schedule and uh, they understood about the pricing um, theory and practice in digital, digital out of home, which was quite smart actually. So I think there are two or three very big players who understand the market and they make the market in Germany and the others follow and they understand that they shouldn't, you know, just throw away their, their, their inventory. Now change the subject a little bit because the great thing about digital out of home is you can see it. You see it in, yeah. public, in public areas, you see it everywhere. But last year when we had the crisis, you know, yeah. economic crisis, the war in Ukraine, and then we had an energy crisis. Right. And in August, I remember we were all on vacation, the tide turned and we said, what is happening? So give us a shout out. What yeah. happened in Germany and not only in Germany, but many yeah. other European countries? Actually, the thing is that, especially in Germany, Germans are always thinking of what will happen in the future, not what happens today. So in Germany, the officials, the minister of, of economy, he, he introduced a law which said you have to turn down the lights of digital and classic out of foam during the night time. So that was called the NC Kumaf, security for energy saving. And in fact, it was uh, all the buildings in Germany and, uh, and uh, of course, uh, out of foam business. Which on paper looks fantastic. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah of course. So it, it, but, but when it started, the idea was um, to shut down everything between 10 o'clock in the evening and 4 p.m. the next day which would have been horrible. 16 hours, 16 we're talking about 16 hours. hours. 16 hours. Not running, but no, turn off. That was the idea of turning off the light. And then of course, we're sitting together with the media owners and we said, 
then, then, then there, will, there will be no business anymore. Yeah. And that we talked to the officials in Germany, talked to the minister, we talked to the Secretary of State, and they understood that the importance of out of foam is more than just advertising. You know, it's a part of an integral part of the city. And of course, it does good to the to the sports business. It does good to the community. It does good to the small businesses. So um, they managed to to, to reduce um, some of those hours, and they now they shut down from from. 22, it's from 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock the next morning, which is fair enough. Yeah. Because, you know, it's nighttime and the loss of, 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 of fragment is quite, it's not that much. Yeah. And there's two ex a few exceptions, right? At, of at, course. At bus stations or so. Because yeah, yeah. many of the politicians yeah. totally forgot about it, yeah. that out of them also provides light and safety and security. Actually, and that's, that's very important. That's so, so important. We had several exceptions. One is those digital screens. They, they, they contain um, warning advices. Yeah. So if something happens in Germany, like um, bad weather, like bad conditions, like traffic jams and stuff like that, um, those systems are integrated into the national and regional warning system, yeah. which is important so they can't, you can't turn them off. The other thing is, as you mentioned, the bus shelters do also contain light. And if you would turn off the, the, the electricity, that would mean women, children, everybody would stay in the dark. Yeah. So that's why the minister said, okay, that's fair enough. You need this to light the, the error. And uh, we've got several, several other examples which are very important and they show, that's a good part for me, they show that the digital out of foam and out of foam, light, light lit out of foam is an integral part of the city and of the infrastructure. So it's nothing that really comes into the city as an alien, like in this beautiful space. It's, it's, it comes in because it used to be there the, the last thousand years yeah. and now it's of course it's different technology but it's still very much um integration of communication in the city and that's why it's tried another nice story was uh, i mean also the static you know where where they had light on you know i needed to be turned off yeah but they really couldn't turn them off because yes. they were connected to nobody yeah. ever thought about no, them, no, right? no, no. right so, so how did they do it in the beginning? I think they were connected to the streetlights, right? Yes, when the yeah. went on, yeah. they went on, that's what I right? That, that was it. And the minister was very gracious. They understood that, you know, there are 3, 350,000 sites in Germany. <laughs> and, you know, it goes from the Black Forest and the small villages to Berlin, yeah. so everywhere, all over Germany. So the minister said, okay, that's fair enough. Because um, the, the media owners were very fast. They are changing the, 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 the mechanism. But, you know, it's, it's, it's not like you can, you know, you can't go there and change it yourself. You have to do professionals to do it. Yeah. And uh, that's the reason why they said it's fair enough. Take your time to change it. Take your time to integrate clocks. And um, yeah, we're still in this process. But I would say the minister was quite fair, the ministry. They said, okay, it's fair enough, the argumentation. Yeah. And we understand that you have to have it and you want to change it and you're on track and you follow the rules. So take your time to, to, to do it. So it's a typical German way, yeah, very strict way. laws. And then they find yeah. ways of managing it, getting more realistic. I, and, I, I think so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Kai, one last thing, sustainability. Yeah. Um, we talked about, um, you know, the crisis we had last year, to be honest, we're still in. Um, but, um, you know, these LEDs are not the greenest thing in the world, let's be honest. So what is industry doing? Uh, what are Wald, Stroer and all the other guys are doing in reducing the carbon footprint? I think this is one of the most important topics that we have because the good about out of foam, it's so visible. Everybody can see it. And everyone can see those screens in public space and everyone can see that they're shining and they're bright. So um, there are several things that they're doing. The first of all, they started years ago to use green, green energy. Okay, that was the first thing. The second thing, they decided to put down the, the intensity of the screens, if, the, if not necessary. The third thing is that they, 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 they reduced um, the, 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 the operation during the nighttime by themselves, it was before before the law they started yeah. it, because it's exp expensive too. Yeah. And the, the other things is at the moment, they're working very hard on reducing um, the energy um, and, and reducing the screens, um, trying to, to figure out which are the best ways to, 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 to um, buy new screens, to modify them, to integrate them into systems which are not neutral, yeah. not neutral. But and, and Kai, one thing most people forget about is that really if you change the content from bright yeah. content to dark content, it makes a huge difference. It, it, so in Ostrow, for example, they changed their news yeah, from a white important. background yes. to black and it made a huge difference. That's very important. And I think one other thing is that the reason why they, they, they find it is because, you know, in, if you look at the city as, as a whole, there's so much light in the city. So you have to view 
advertising and content in the streets. On the one hand side, on the other hand side, you don't have to be as bright as sunlight. And I think that's what everybody understood. And so they tried to reduce the carbon um, dioxide footprint at a maximum. And one very important thing for me is, if you look at out of foam and digital out of foam and classic out of foam, it's the, it has the smallest COW footprint of all the media. So if you would take out um, media from out of foam, you put it into another medium, which is much more consuming. And that's so unfair for out of foam because you don't yeah. see the server farms yeah. you need for online. No, that's this a huge server, yeah. huge electricity like crazy, Absolutely. but you don't see it. But out of yeah. foam, you see it's it's a good and a, and a bad story. That's, at the same that's a story about the medium actually. Yeah. It's so visible and you can't turn it off, so you see it at any time, and you don't make up your mind about you don't need any devices to see it, you don't need anything to hear it. You just you know it's just there, and it, unfair is the good word actually. I think that's what it is. It is visible and it's um, feasible, and you see it, and you like it, or you dislike it. Well, I would love to speak much longer with you, but we're running out of time. Kai, thanks for being here, and uh, hope to see you soon again. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.